you know, simply snuff time. Welcome back. As I said, I was gonna just do a bit, a little piece on uh, on this company. Can you see that? It's Mullins and Wesley. Uh, it's Covent, the best in Covent Garden, London. Uh, it's called the Cigar and Snuff Parlour, Covent Garden, London. And they do the, um, 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 yeah, they're actually called Seagars, uh, and they do the Mullins and Wesley uh, brand of snuffs. So uh, my daughter was down there, kindly uh, called me up, bobbed in and got me a few snuffs. So it, if you don't know this store, it, as I say, it's based down in uh, Covent Garden in London. It's been there, I think, since about 1870, so it's been there forever. I don't know of another snuff parlour or... Uh, uh, anywhere, I'm sure you guys have come across them before, but I haven't. I've been to this place quite a few times. It's really quite famous. Um, very helpful staff down there, nice people. Always got the snuffs in stock, so you don't have to worry if you rock up and they're not, not going to have stuff. They'll have it, they'll have it, don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put a little picture up and you'll see the shop itself. You can't miss it because it's got a full life-size uh, Scottish Highlander. Uh, outside the shop and that's something to do with de apparently snuffs uh, in around the 1870s were massive in Scotland they were very popular and having a Highlander outside the shop denoted that the shop actually sold snuff I think that's a story <laughs> I don't know <laughs> sounds a bit odd one to me but anyway look that's why they say they got a Highlander outside the shop so if you're ever walking around, you see a life-size Highlander outside the shop, you can be certain they sell snuff. So uh, that's a heads up, eh? Um, as I say, it's a beautiful little uh, 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 shop, tiny little place. Um, just smells of history when you go in, you know. It's Yeah, you, you can just feel the tradition around you. Absolutely beautiful little place. And you could miss it because the shop's so small, it's, it's stuck on the end of a row in in one of the shops in, in Covent Garden, so you could easily miss it. And I guess a lot of people won't be looking for a snuff parlour in Covent Garden anyway, you know. But but uh, for us in the know, it, it's, um, yeah, it's, as I say, it's right now at Covent Garden, which is theatre land really, and it's just a stone's throw from the Royal Opera House. So it really is set in the centre of London where everything happens. Covent Garden's ace, there's street theatre going, lots of restaurants, bars, loads of history. It's just a great place to be. Um, if you've never been it's, uh, and you're going to London, definitely get, get along to Comet Garden. I think you'll like it. Um, that's it, really. Um, yeah, as I say, it's a great little, uh, great little place. 1870, packs of tradition. Uh, I'm not sure they sell... Somebody asked me, do they sell, Simon, do they sell any other snuffs other than Mullins and Wesley? Do you know? I'm not sure. Because whenever I go to the store or whenever Sophie, my daughter, my oldest daughter was going call me up uh, you know I just wanted the Mullins and Wesley snuffs um, if you're going to see gas if you're going to see gas snuff uh, snuff emporium um, you know that, that that's what that's what you're gonna get in it so uh, she kindly got me uh, four tins and let's see what we've got um, I'm not sure of the um, order I'm gonna review these in but I know which one I'm going to start with. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to do uh, Mullins and Wesley, the Black Rappi. I've never tried this before. It's a brand new one on me. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. I've heard a lot of good reports about it. So um, that's definitely one. I've already taken the seal off this one. So uh, that'll be the next one. And I'll be reviewing that in the next couple of days. And then I've got a couple of uh, beauties here. Both I've tried before and I absolutely love. This is probably my favourite so far. This is Jock's Choice. Absolutely ding dong this snuff. I love it. Beautiful big tins. It looks like the labelling on the back. They're all fresh tins. I don't know how many so much is in these, but I don't know. There's plenty to be going out. They're a big tin, probably 30 gram. I would have thought 30 gram, the 30 gram Simon? I don't know, 20 or 30 gram, plenty of them. The other one I've tried before and I absolutely love is this one, Mature Crumbled. Absolutely ding dong, love it. Love it, love it. It's been quite some time since I've had uh, Jock's Choice and Mature Crumbled, but I'm really looking forward to that. And then the one I hear a lot about, <coughs> I've never tried it. Uh, I've never had so much as had a, a pinch of it is uh, Mullins and Wesley keen centered and uh, a lot of people report back that this may be their favorite of the Mullins and Wesley snuffs 
uh, keen centred. So um, yeah, I look forward to get uh, get getting dug into that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Mullins and Wesley. They're in Covent Garden, London. If you're ever over this uh, neck of the woods, you're in this wonderful country of ours, England. Then um, you know, get yourself down to London. Get yourself down to Covent Garden. Get yourself down to Seagar's uh, Snuff Emporium. Here it is, uh, Snuff Parlour, not Emporium, Simon. Not Emporium. Seagar's uh, Snuff Parlour. That's it. Give that a go. Um, you can thank my daughter Sophie for getting these snuffs. Uh, she's a wonderful girl. I love her very much. Especially now she's brought me some uh, Mullins and Wesley snuffs. And uh, that's, the, that's the first one I'll be reviewing. I'll try and get that up over the next, uh, next few days. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscribes. It's all going upwards and onwards. Absolutely fantastic. If you don't want to miss any of these uh, videos, please press the subscribe button and press the notification button and you'll get a little ding bell when, uh, when I post the videos. That's it. Thanks very much. Uh, in the meantime, I've got a bit of uh, McChrystal's O&G to see me through the day, so we'll be having a little bit of that. <sighs> Spilt me snuff again. As Mrs. Mrs. M's not in. She's out cooking bacon somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Not cooking me any bloody bacon, I can tell you that. Anyway, sod it. I've got the house to myself. Just me, the cat and the two dogs. One of my dogs has just had an operation, so she's licked it kitchen. <laughs> Feeling sorry for herself, poor love. She'll be right, though. <laughs> you want to see the vet's bill? My God. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Next one up, uh, Mullins and Wesley, Black Rappy. We'll see you then. Keep well. Chin chin.